After investing just over 30 million Belize dollars in the construction of a new Hallover Bridge, an inauguration ceremony was held this morning on site at mile 5 on the Philip Goulson Highway. The 541 meter long bridge links Belize City to the rural parts of the Belize District and is equipped with rail guards, reflectors, solar lights, and road markings. It is a project that had been promised to the Belizean people back in 2017 when the then Prime Minister negotiated with the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, for a loan facility. Almost seven years later, there is a new Hallover Bridge that is projected to last some 100 years. At this morning's ceremony, Minister of Infrastructure Development Julius Espat expressed deep satisfaction at the completion and beauty of the new and improved Hallover Bridge. Today, we gather to celebrate the official opening of the new Hallover Bridge, a historic milestone for Belize. This new Hallover Bridge, much like its predecessor, holds momentous importance as it symbolizes resilience, strength, ingenuity, and embodies the steadfast spirit of our Belizean people. Prime Minister John Bresenio, in his keynote address, spoke of what the new Hallover Bridge represents for the country and his administration. He also saluted the government for the exclusivity given to local engineers to design the new bridge, as well as for embracing the young engineer, Megan Martinez, as the project manager of the project during the construction phase. This new bridge, spawning the Belize River, here at the mouth of the Hallover Creek stands as a symbol of progress, unity, and shared aspiration. It is an engineering marvel made in Belize by Belizeans, and it reminds us of the power of collaboration, innovation, and vision. We convinced the international funders, particularly those at the OPEC Fund, that our plans designs and ideas were better, and they agreed. This allowed the Ministry of Infrastructure Development and Housing to invite Belizean engineering companies, as opposed to foreign engineering companies, to compete for the contract and an m and M engineering. In, um, a fully won Belizean company won the bid. Megan Martinez, employed by M&M Engineering Limited, also presented at this morning's ceremony, highlighting the importance of the Hallover Bridge. When we conducted a traffic survey in 2017, it showed us that there were over 13,000 vehicles crossing over the old Hallover Bridge. Today, that number is around 17,000 vehicles. That makes this bridge the most important conduit for Belize's connection between the northern districts and Belize City. What now stands as the newly constructed Belize City exit replaces a bridge that was built decades ago with a rich history. The forefathering bridge which still stands alongside this new structure was erected in 1942 and has survived countless extreme and adverse weather events which added to the cumulative wear and tear over the years and led to its ultimate replacement. From the early 16th century, this was the location where mahogany and logwood were shipped. Timber would have to be pulled over from Belize River to be loaded on awaiting vessels, hence the name Hallover. We are standing at the gateway to the heart and economical capital of Belize. This Hallover Bridge continues to be an economic focal point as it connects Belize City with the northern districts and Mexico via the Philip Goulson Highway and connects the world via the Philip Goulson International Airport. How we have grown from barely inhabited mosquito coast to a vibrant and bustling community. We should be proud. As for the structure of the old Hallover Bridge, the surplus on this project will be used to repurpose it for use in the Cayo District. Reporting for Love News, I am Benjamin Flowers.